All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Phoenix Industries mod, which is being made by form user CTN. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is currently some lovely new boosters, cargo ship parts, and even some really good looking EVA suits. And I love everything in this and can not wait to see what gets added to this mod in the future. As you may know, we've looked at a fair number of Phoenix Industries mods in the past, and this is now the one central location for all things Phoenix Industries. And that's due to an unfortunate tragic incident where, sadly, CTN uh, had the hard drive die on him, apparently, according to the mod page, that had all of the things for those previous mods in it and so those older mods are now no longer being supported due to that and everything's being started from scratch here in just plain old phoenix industries which is sad but i can't wait to see what does come of this as all the other phoenix industries parts mods we've seen have all been amazing. So I can't wait to see what happens going forward. But let's jump into the vehicle assembly for now and have a look at what we do get here. And while grabbing the Mark 1 command pod and using the mod filter, I should mention that there is a prerequisite to get things to work properly, specifically for those EVA suits that this mod does add in. You are going to need the texture replacer for those to work. I mean, that with anything that replaces the suits, you gotta have texture replacer, and so that is the one dependency. Now, there is a recommended mod for the cargo parts we'll take a look at in a little bit here, and that is gonna be the Kerbal Inventory System, as that'll help you take full advantage of those parts, but it's not required. Suggested, and really good to have, because Kerbal Inventory System is wonderful, but not necessary. So let's take a look at the first parts we do get here in the engines category, and they are some lovely new solid rocket boosters, starting with the SRB-1 more, which is a beautiful rocket here, producing 2,000 kilonewtons of thrust with an ISP of 220, of course using solid fuel, and it can hold on board 8,000 thousand of said solid fuel and as you can see here it is a gigantic part just look at the size of this thing it is a very awesome large rocket for you to help put your payload into space with and as with all the previous phoenix industries parts we've seen in the past it looks Great. Very nice modeling on it. Very good stock-alike texturing to it as well. It's just a nice looking part. Now, if we check that one off and head to the next, we have the SRB2 Sidekick Solid Booster, which this one a lot less thrust here at 120 kilonewtons with an ISP of 175 in vacuum once more using solid fuel and holding 400 of that on board. And if we zoom in a little bit on this one, it's a much smaller solid rocket compared to the previous one, uh, but still a very nice, fun little thing. For the most part, a little bit plain compared to the other rockets we have, but we do have some really nice detail up on the top that I very much do enjoy. And again, a nice stock-like texture to it, which is just magnificent. But let's pop that one off and head to the final of the three SRBs, and that is, of course, SRB3 Kickback Solid Fuel Booster Alternate, which will produce quite a decent amount of thrust at 670 kilonewtons with an ISP of 220, of course using solid fuel and holding 2,600 of that fuel on board. And if we pop this one on, we'll have to zoom back out a little bit more, and there we go, back to the just 
beautiful texturing and modeling that I would that I've come to really love from Phoenix Industries parts and another large one not quite as large as the SRB1 but still pretty darn good and uh, yeah definitely will help you get your payload into space they are quite nice now let's pop this off and head down to the payload category where we have the two cargo parts for this and uh, those are the CRS-1 Atratus Cargo Tube, love that name, and this will hold a 50 electric charge as well as 20 mono propellant. And as mentioned earlier, if you do have the Kerbal Inventory System, it will also have KIS Inventory Space inside which is pretty great. Now let's also just go straight over to the next part, the CRS-2 Atratus Cargo Tube, which is uh, roughly double the size of a cargo tube, but surprisingly only holds the same amount of electric charge and mono propellant. But again, you are gonna have the space for Kerbal Inventory System, which is a very nice, and you'd be able to hold more volume in there. And if we pop them both on, you can see they are some really good looking parts. I really do love these. Probably my favorite parts in this as they just have so much to their texturing and modeling here that I really, really do love. And they do make for a great little cargo pod for you to send supplies up to your space stations. And all in all are just good looking. Now that is it for the parts that we currently have in Phoenix Industries. Now again, remember he's Poor CTN having to start from scratch with everything, so it may be a while until we get to the just immense number of amazing parts we've seen in previous Phoenix Industries mods, but I can't wait for them because they're gonna be great. But let's actually head out and take a look at those EVA suits, which of course you are going to need the texture replacer for once again, and you'll find them of course down with the texture uh, replacer button here where if you click on any of your personnel you can select these uh, Phoenix Industries uh, parts here or not parts the textures for your Kerbals which are pretty good now if we close that off and actually take a look at them in the world you have the amazing EVA survival suit which just again like with all the other parts looks magnificent I really do love the looks of these things as it's just got a lot of great texturing to it and what makes it even better is there's six different colors of suits for you to choose from which makes it all that much more fun and impressive and as you can see here we've got uh, just a great little selection of the blue gray green orange red and tan colors and yeah they just look pretty cool I like them I don't know how much more I could say about them than that they are just fun new spacesuits uh, they are sort of designed after the suits in the Martian which is just a nice little extra detail sort of based on those and are just all in all some pretty solid good looking not too far distant future sci-fi kind of spacesuits for your Kerbals to wear. They are wonderful. And with that out of the way, let's uh, go and I guess take a look at our usual ship that we put up into orbit with these various parts where I built a uh, untitled space. Oh, nope, that's the, that's the one that held the Kerbals for the launch pad. We have the Atratus cargo pod up here which is, of course, using those lovely cargo tubes. I love that they're named cargo tube. I don't know why, but that really amuses me. And yeah, it just makes for a fun little uh, cargo pod. I kind of wish that they had maybe uh, some sort of um, unmanned command pod component to them, but considering their size, you can very easily attach any of the existing ones to them. I just think that might be an interesting touch, but that's a personal thing. Maybe you guys think differently, but all in all, they make for some fun, wonderful little cargo crafts for you to resupply your ships in orbit. And that 
that's just lovely. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, so you can uh, take a look at these existing parts, and also, of course, check out whatever does come from CTN in the future with this. Can't wait to see what we do get out of this mod. But uh, yeah, you can check the link in the description for that. And hope you have enjoyed today, and that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.